this is me in arenas for the Amiga CD32. Uh, I also have this on Amiga floppy disk. It's the one I played, so I haven't actually played this on CD32. It would be good to see if it's any more enhanced. But I love this little game. It's a, well, let's show you on the back. There you go. It's a puzzle, kind of arcade puzzle game. Very squashed down though. I will look at the bigger box in a minute as well. Uh, bloody marvellous, say the one. Could well be the cult hit of 1993. Well, if it's a cult hit, it would have stood the test of time. And unfortunately it didn't. But I certainly love this game. Heart. It really is my sort of go-to game. There are only a few sort of puzzle games like this. Although... There are so many in existence, certainly if, you know, nowadays with ROMs, etc. Or even if you collect, say, for the NES, etc. There will be tons of games like this. So compared to everything, maybe it's not so good. But certainly I have a very good memory of this and a fondness of it. I just cannot read the back. Let's look at the front. A little bit squished down there, as we shall see in a minute. But you have the main, I would say, protagonist. I would say hero, but certainly he's a sort of a gladiator grid runner let's say and the two hosts underneath him and even apparently rocket ships in the background ice i'll come to that in a minute so certainly it's it's great for a collector because ice games uh for the amiga packaging at least at the side have good detail this doesn't really have anything on the side so to the back i mean look look at the size of my thumb here and try and read that even if uh, excuse the light but you'd, it's the, the the print is tiny absolutely tiny uh it's it's small print even for the address at the bottom there but that is ridiculous so i'm going to come back to that actually no I'll, I'll do this now let's put that down there if i reach across here i prepared earlier there we go this is why i collect cd32 games if i can in their bigger box or for the amiga floppy disk first thing that's apparent is this has really been squashed down if i put them side by side there you can see that it it really makes this look worse now if you see the shape of his head for the presenter there and the other presenter it's yeah he looks more heroic with a longer face he has such a round face there and he has such a long face there so sorry it's a win for that and then, of course, the all-important cover, which I cannot read much. And even if I move it out the way and try and look at it myself here, I can just about see it. Buzz and Bob will delight you with an abundance of sampled speech. I can just about read it, but it's so small. So here is the same, just larger. And as you can see here as well, it's been cut off and really shrunk down. I mean, is the level that way or is it that way? That's uh, it must be this way. So... It's a real example of trying to cram a box design onto the back of a CD shape, which is completely different. It'd be better if they even attempted it sideways. So now we can look at the back. I apologise, CD32 owners that want to see the back of this, but I will always try and sort of uh, mix and match these with the, the Amiga discounter parts, uh, simply because it's bigger packaging and because it's about the cover, and the cover does look better. So, Mean Arenas, let's read this at the back there. Welcome to tonight's edition of Mean Arenas, as he says in the intro, brought to you by Bob Belinsky and Buzz McLeod. So now we can see, we can see a bit more of a clearer screenshot. Uh, there's lots of sort of uh, silly animations going on, eyes rolling and, and parts of the signs falling off in the top left in the intro. Uh, Buzz and Bob will delight you with an abundance of sampled speech from Welcome to Mean Arenas, through to Such a Shame, He's Dad. Uh, the, I fairly certain the the full speech is on the uh, floppy disk as well so you can't really lose out with this it's it's one of the delights of the uh of the game to be honest as we come across the other side buzz and bob our favorite tv presenters will guide you through the arenas they may be accident prone but we love them yes indeed it keeps quoting what they say so I just, my memory just sort of kicks in each arena is packed full of monsters hazards weapons and best of all money 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 down here it's fast and furious, it's slippery, it's mean arenas again, and it's fun, fun, fun. Travel along the inter-arena transporters, do not delay as those acid pits will give you that all-over crispiness uh, you've only dreamt of. And certainly you can see that it's, uh, it's a sort of uh, maze labyrinth sort of map game. 
me steady my arm here and try and get this so that the glare doesn't hit this is actually small print as well again as you can compare to my finger it's quite small so mean arenas in the world of um, in the words sorry of amiga action so that's the magazine in case anyone doesn't know in this year this is a very sad year of 2093 chaos rules as we know and the world is generally a very shallow place we need entertainment ladies and gentlemen we need fun and oh my, it's me. I won't do that again. It's mean arenas fun. Spread throughout this complex, folks, are 26 arenas filled to the brim with monsters, hazards, weapons, and money. Buzz and Bob are our arena hosts. Two lovely, lovely blokes <laughs> who'll be popping up between levels with their own wisdom, wisdom for you. The public, the public, the, there's a dash there, the public, the contestants. So the public are the contestants, I think it means, but it has a very small hyphen there. Uh, enter carefully, ladies and gents, because you're never quite sure where the danger's coming from next. You'll be unarmed to begin with, and it's not a barrel of laughs, because those guardians are programmed to kill, kill, kill. Collect weapons and blow them away, then pick up all that lovely loot, because remember, folks, no loot, no escape route. Seriously though, folks, the money's yours for the taking if you stay calm and use those teleporters and conveyors. I'm wandering off screen again with the box. Watch out for the bonus rooms and oh, by the way, hope you brought the sunblock because those acid pits are mighty warm. Remember, Buzz and Bob are there to help, but from, for me it's all over and out for now. I'm trying to read this without uh, stumbling and I'm failing. With the hope that your arenas may always have meaning. It's fast, furious, and funny. Mean Arenas could well become the cult hit of 1993. Screenshots may vary. So, yes, there we go. Uh, of course, this didn't have the uh, bit I've just read, but certainly that is ridiculously tiny, so I can't even get it there. But again, the, my thumb compared to the text there is insane. So, I'm going to open this. Sorry, I'm doing it off camera as if I'm just opening it to load it up. Nice CD. Logo's quite good. Uh, quite plain, but it does the trick. As I always say, it does the job, does the trick. This opens out as well fully. A couple of different languages. Uh, we've got three... Yeah, three pages in English anyway. So if I try and get this... Oh, as I collide with the light there, try and get this to view i'll take pictures later i'll also talk about about it while i play the game so it just basically sets what you collect what you need to avoid I'm trying to get the right angle but this is because it's so large it's a long manual there we go uh objects as well so we've got from bombs to fire shields and gold and negative gold takes away points all sorts of uh, bits and pieces and that's about it really for the CD32 manual anyway. I should put this in carefully. I think what I'll do is review the floppy disk box and interior at a later date. I'll just very quickly show that this is one of the reasons why I picked up the box. It's let's do it that way for now. They all the ice games uh international computer entertainment have this side bit and I actually brought a few down I'll be looking at this as well soon Fire Force for the Amiga and the CD32 that's another cool box as well but if you line them up that's what I like uh, well as you can see it's not quite square and I have a couple because I thought oh this is nice for once games that line up uh, there's another one we shall not mention that one, but that, as you can see, is lower down. I don't know if that's just uh, one of those things, or if every game of that type, of that name, I should say, is released at that height. I don't know. Call me silly, call me finicky, but uh, yeah, that is, is bogus. Come on, I want it to be all lined up. But anyway, if you are into collecting a few games, I think they're only about four or five. I've just spotted another one. Abandoned Places 2 is up there. Let me just quickly grab that. I think I've shown my point though. Excuse me for a second. If my wall falls down, please call the, <laughs> the paramedics. Although this isn't live, so 
I'm fine. Oh, we've survived. Right, so there we go, abandoned places as well, which I don't think came out. But okay, this isn't aligned. It's the terrible sequel to a fairly good game of, uh, I was going to say TV, sports, football. What is it? TV, TV, something. Does it sound the back? Does it dare mention the good game that it's not? My memory is gone. I, I'm thinking of telly something as well because there's a public domain game that was similar. Anyway, that can just fall over because that's total rubbish rather than total carnage. So, okay, maybe you don't want to collect that. So, for these, that does look good. It is a, a, a good set, a, a good uh, publisher rather to, uh, to collect for. And on the shelf, nice, bright, bold logo. Very nice. That this the reason I'm taking time to show this is this is one of the first games that I got uh, for the Amiga big box. To excuse me, I put those away. To actually just house this in. I don't think this came out on a on a big box like this for the CD32. I think it's just in the dual case. So yeah, that I remember seeing this and thought, yeah, it's so much better. It's all the scale looks better even the logo is is bright uh, even the skin color looks different i don't think this has been sun faded but uh yeah and that started me down the path of trying to collect the amiga counterpart games for the cd32 so there we go maybe it's just me everyone's probably shaking their heads but i like it so let's move that out of the way come back to this really not impressed by the way that's squished down i don't mind i mean this this is fair enough but just remove Maybe one of these, move that across, move that there, move this down. It's like a puzzle game in its own. And make the, the, the font, the text, bigger and readable. I guess uh, the kids of today, the kids of back then could easily read it and say, Dad, don't, don't bother with your glasses, I'll read it. Just buy it for me, whatever. So there we go, Mean Arenas, wonderful game. I have fond memories, so I'll look forward to playing that for the Amiga CD32.